Okay, this is the last video for this section, and we're going to talk about ways that we can use harmonics to help us in tuning our guitar and making sure we have a good guitar. The first thing we're going to do is use harmonics to check intonation. If you're looking for an acoustic guitar and you go through the store and you pick up a, an acoustic guitar and you want to tune it and you want to play it, the first thing I always do is check the intonation. This is how I do it. I play the harmonic at the 12th fret. Then I play the note at the 12th fret. Don't bend the string because you get... You don't want to do that. You want to play the harmonic then, push it in and play the note. Now, when you do this, you notice that the notes should sound similar. They should sound the same. They should sound the same all the way across. If they don't, that means that your intonation is off. And if your intonation is off, it could cause some problems. You might tune it so that when you play down here, it sounds great. But when you begin to play up here, you will sound out of tune. Where you go up further, you'll sound out of tune. If your intonation is really bad, you'll play an E chord, it'll sound in tune. But when you play a D, or a C, or even a G, it'll sound out of tune. Okay, so the intonation is an important thing. The other thing we can do with harmonics is tune the guitar using harmonics and a tuning fork. Let me show you a tuning fork. My favorite way to tune, I like tuning by ear. When you get into open tunings, this will really help. This is an A440 tuning fork. All you really do is you hit it on something soft, not too hard. You don't want to touch the forks as the forks vibrate. Let's hit it again. There's a little ball here, and you touch that to your guitar. It makes that noise. See that? Now, that should sound the same as the harmonic on the A string, 5th fret. If not, you, you adjust it until it does. Once you get the A string tuned, then you tune the rest of the strings. There's something called relative tuning. In other words, relative to each other. Okay, so using harmonics, play the harmonic at the fifth fret A string, then the harmonic at the seventh fret D string. Should be the same note. Now, if it's off a little bit, we'll down. watch what happens when it's off. Hear that? And now the trick is you have to play both harmonics at the same time. Hear when the wave stops? There you go. Now if your guitar is out of intonation, that wave will not stop. That's one way you can tell if the guitar is intonated or not. If you tune the guitar using harmonics, and it sounds drastically out of tune, then the intonation is gone. And sometimes if the intonation is gone, it might not be the fault of the guitar itself, it might be bad strings. When your strings go bad, sometimes the intonation goes out, okay? So, we got the A string tuned, and we got the D string tuned, we wanna go to the G string. So as we get the G string, we play the harmonic on the D string fifth fret, then on the G string seventh fret. So. Now, we got these three strings tuned. Now to, play, to get the E string tuned, we play the harmonic on the E string fifth fret, and play the harmonic on the A string seventh fret. And there we go. Okay, so now we got these four strings tuned. Okay, now we need to get the B string tuned. To tune the B string, we play the harmonic on the B string, 7th fret, then we'll just play the B string open. There you go. Now if you want to play two harmonics, what you'll have to do is you'll have to play this harmonic right here. Let's see, a B, let's see, an octave higher, so it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so you do it like this. You go.
compare it that way. When you get it to sound the same, then you move on to the next. So when I'm, I'm fretting a B string, I'm counting up five, playing a false harmonic. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm playing a false harmonic here. Okay? So we got these four, five strings tuned. Now we're going to do the last string using harmonics. Same way we did the other ones. Play the harmonic at the fifth fret on the B string. Then play the harmonic on the seventh fret A string. There we go. We can test it with other chords. There you go. Other ways you can use harmonics. Now, that concludes this section. We're going to go to the next section, which we're going to talk about two-handed tap techniques. Like this section, it starts out real easy, and it's going to get gradually harder and harder. So uh, be patient, practice, and I'll see you in the next section.